Hey guys, it's Andy from AH Bespoke. Welcome back to my channel. Now today's carving is going to be God and Adam. Now this can be viewed in real life in the Sistine Chapel. It was a painting on the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel um, by one of Renaissance art's greats, Michelangelo. So, this particular piece is out of Chestnut Burl. Um, I am using my Dremel Fortiflex uh, with great effect to uh, take away the waste and shape this particular hand, which is, in this case, God's hand. Um, so as you can see, the bit that I'm using is quite an aggressive uh, carving bit. Uh, this is an off the market um, carving bit. Um, it uh, can be uh, quite aggressive and you need to be extremely careful with your fingers. It's, uh, it's extremely sharp. So, as you can see, trying to take out the mass and whoa big jump managed to take out the mass that took ages by the way just letting you know um, so starting to take the uh, detail of the thumb and uh, shape it gradually into a, a sort of rough shape um, towards uh, the inner of the thumb and up the first finger um, okay now we've moved on to Adam's finger now this particular hand you have to be careful which way you go with the grain on this as well obviously it's the same as if you were um, using a knife and a piece of wood um, you work work the grain to your advantage otherwise sounding's a nightmare um, as you see it's difficult with uh, certain um, areas where when you carve it because you have to uh, occasionally cut across um, and you get like a rough ripple type effect certainly with this bit So uh, I was fortunate to see this in my teens, which is why it's an image that was uh, it's sort of ingrained in me. Um, my art history background was quite classical and Renaissance art, so it was something that was drilled into me um, while I was studying at school. Um, and there we go just on to the cleaning up of the edges you can just about see God's hand in the uh, corner of the picture I mean that's not a bad thing is it as you can see there um, sanding drum perfect little instrument for getting into these tight areas and there you go always make sure you're wearing a dust mask um, gloves if you have them handy um, it's always good to protect your fingers um, and goggles every single time so there you go oh, why are they two different colors Andy they're out of the same piece of wood ah da -da! there you go um, this 
this is uh, patina. It's uh, oh, snap the finger. Oh, uh, patina is great for antiquifying wood if that is such a thing. Uh, gives it a nice warm effect, as you can see there. Look at that, lovely, love it. And yeah, snap the finger off. So, what's the best thing for fixing things like this? Ta da! Gorilla Glue Gel. Lovely stuff, great invention, and works in a matter of seconds. There we go. I've just put together a box. Um, what I should have done was clean up the edges and tidy up the box, paint the box even before gluing in the hands. Um, but I got a bit carried away and excited and uh, wasn't really thinking and the glue set quicker than I thought it would and um, yeah we're at that situation so uh, as you can see just putting in a very 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 light um, pink tint to it um, it's to give it the impression of a fresco um, and I'm just drawing on the crack there that goes behind. Now I do finish off the box, obviously, um, clean it up and tidy it up, and you'll see that in the uh, finished pictures, literally sanding, and um, then a very lovely coat of um, a pale, um, cream colour. I think it's ivory actually. I threw away the tin stupidly without checking. So I'd like to thank all my new subscribers. Thank you for jumping on. I hope you enjoy what you see. I hope you uh, like and if you wouldn't mind give it a share share it out a bit guys let your other friends know what's going on on the channel and i'll try to keep you entertained thanks for coming see you again soon